In this video, you can see us having a lovely trip to the Isle of Wight to revisit the lovely places that we went to last year. But this time we've got Nathan with us and Holly and Jasmine, of course. So we stayed at a beautiful place called the Woodside Bay Lodge Retreat. And this lodge that we stayed in was called Wooten. We had a stunning view over across to Portsmouth because you need to get a ferry across to the Isle of Wight in case you don't know. And our lodge was high up so we could see the beautiful water which looked stunning. Good morning from the Isle of Wight. Gorgeous weather. Look, we're so lucky, aren't we, with the weather? And you see how blue that water is over there? Absolutely lovely. So today we've got a couple of exciting things happening. We've just had a lovely breakfast here, it was really nice. So we're going to Shanklin, which is a little thatched roof town where you can get lovely gluten-free afternoon tea, in my opinion the best that there is in the world. And we're also going to go to Shanklin Chine. Now you may have seen videos about this before, I can link those below for you as well, but we're going to take Nathan this time because he's finally got some time off work, which is lovely, lovely to build together. Um, yeah, so come with us and we'll show you all of Shanklin has to offer. So we're going to go for a little walk just around this location area because we know it's really, really nice. We know it's really nice. But Harley's going in his little push chair, bless him. Let's just let him have a quick sniff. I do love how the lodges look all nestled amongst the trees. Apart from that, I don't know what they're doing, cutting trees or something over there, but it's just really peaceful. Bird song. The resort that we were on was surrounded by lovely woodside, but also there is a coffee shop and a restaurant inside and a gym, all small but well equipped. We've arrived in a very, very, very sunny, beautiful spot in Shanklin. Just park the car. There's a little car park just up the road, and down there you've got to go down a little hill, but you can do it in a wheelchair or if you've got push chairs and stuff. Just down there is where the, the old thatch tea rooms are, and it is honestly the nicest ever in the world. I haven't found one to be rivaled. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint this time too. just come to my nan's house for afternoon tea. They're really looking after us as well. The old thatch tea shop is famous for having a garden that they call a fairy garden outside. And if you saw my TikTok, you would have seen that we did spot actual real fairies, of course, in the garden. it's very sunny and um, we're about to go to um, Shanklin Chine there's another chine called Black Gang Chine I don't know anything about that one I think it might be a theme park or something but we're going down here we've been before um, but loved it and little Harley loved it and he's just 
He just we've got his push chair because he doesn't walk so well, but he's just trying to just do his business and just have a little sniff. So then we'll then we'll pop him on there. So yeah, it's open. Look, 10, 8, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. and you come back at night and it's all lit up so beautifully. So we've come at sort of dusky time, hoping that we can go down in the daylight and come up in the lights, but it might be a bit early for that. The only time you'll ever see the word chine is in the Isle of Wight. They have called gorgeous chines from in the Isle of Wight for years now. And basically what it is, is where the water has created a channel through the land over time. So we've kind of come to the bottom of the shrine, the shine, shine. Um, it's back up there, but we've come up to this viewpoint, which is just beautiful. Look at it. I just read a bit of history about this place, which makes me feel like I'm my dad because he used to read every little thing. Apparently in 1944, they piped oil from here all the way under across to Normandy. And it was one of the most best engineering things ever. So they sent the oil across for the, for the troops, for whatever they needed oil for. The weather, once again, we're so lucky. It's absolutely amazing. Over there, you can see the white cliffs over there. See that? We're gonna have a little head over to the museum or something there. We're gonna go and have a little look at it in a minute. Boy, I don't look very well. Sorry about that. Many of the plants that we saw there reminded us as if we weren't in England, we weren't in a normal country, it was almost like Jurassic Park. Before long it was time to get home and have a relaxing bath before I just had a cuppa and looked across to the beautiful skyline of Portsmouth where you could see the building that I called the Burj Khalifa. Good morning, it's the next day. We've come for a little walk. We found this just opposite outside the park, across the way, there's a little, you can see a little gate to go through. We come here, look, monkey bars, a little outside gym, and it's really very pretty, quite muddy, obviously not all the time, but yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna find. What are you gonna do? It's actually a stream. Well done. Now I've got to get a dog takeover. We're at the donkey sanctuary. Oh. Mum is pushing Harley, so she asked me to do it for her. So here we are. Um, these aren't donkeys, actually. These are Shetland ponies. There are donkeys. We will find them in a minute. Cut to that next. So someone's incredibly tired because got really excited, but we're just coming to the coffee shop, which is a really nice barn and I'm just going to flag this up. So they're trying to build a clinic here and they need to raise some money. So that's the website if that's something that you're interested in because apparently they have to take them two hours away or something across onto the main line. The Donkey Sanctuary is free to enter and it is dog friendly and they rely solely on donations. They have a lovely coffee shop there as well, which is also dog friendly, and they do do some gluten free stuff. Okay, so the iconic needles we've come to see at the, um, at the, uh, where are we? The Isle of Wight. This is quite cute. Harley's in his push chair. So we're gonna to go to this little lookout point and go and see the edge of the cliff and the um, cable car, which we're not gonna go on. I think, if my memory serves me right, you can walk down some steps down there, but we're gonna have a look first and see, see how we feel about that.
All right, so this is the chairlift uh, that you can go down to the beach, but then look at the angle that it goes down. We just heard someone going down and go, whoa. So let's zoom in so you can see what's going on. You've got a little bar that comes over you. Uh, just very casually. It's very quiet here today because it's uh, out of season, but um, I'm not too sure if I'd do that or not. Would you do that? Leave it in the comments. Tell me, would you do that? I don't know if I could do that. No? Is that a no? You can hear it rattling. Really? It's very old, isn't it? Oh my God, hats off to that old couple. Bless them. Yeah. That looks very high up. That man's legs are juggling. But yeah. I went to the shop. Came here as a kid and made sand things with my parents. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you can see that. But they've also got these little gemstones and things here for sale, which I wouldn't buy because I don't think it's very sustainable. But it's good to see nonetheless. But how sweet is that? Massive great shells and things. So we're going to see that the Sensei assistant's dog's only in here, but I don't want to leave him. I won't leave him. So. Cute, aren't they? Can you pick up that little bottle and show us on the camera? Little gemstones. How cute. Oh, yeah. That looks like amethyst. It's good for your lung function. We're home now, it's time for Chinese tonight. We've got lovely stir fry, which looks nice, and he wants to help out with the chicken. The next morning we woke up, and unfortunately, Harley had really taken a turn for the worse with his health. So we got him home as soon as we could. 